Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on the Nintendo 64. Last time, we visited Zora's Domain, where we met King Zora, who's worried about his missing daughter, and we took part in a diving competition, or challenge, I guess, in order to get a Zora scale, which lets us dive for about twice as long, so we can actually go a little further underwater, so that's not too shabby. Let's see. Now, we're going to go ahead and... Well, we need the Spiritual Stone of Water, and we need to help King Zora with finding his daughter in order to, you know, get him to start talking to us. So let's see if anybody has any information here. We Zoras all serve the great King Zora. Okay, that's helpful. Thanks. Let's see if any of you guys in the water say anything. We haven't found Princess Ruto, even though some of us have searched as far as Lake Helium. Well, oh, maybe you guys need to search a little better, I don't know. We are good at diving. How okay, yeah, I already did that. I'm trying to see if there's anybody else in the water besides those two. I thought there was like one over here somewhere, but I could be mistaken. Oh well. Now that we got the uh, diving thing, Let's go ahead and see if we can't figure out what is in this little area right here. We can dive just far enough to make it under there, and this will take us out to Lake Helia. So that's pretty cool. And now we can try to get that um, bottle that was there earlier. Yeah, that one right there, because I could always use another bottle. Bottles are very good for storing stuff, so if I can get it, Awesome. Let's see. Can I lock onto that? Yes, I can. We can lock onto it. And let's just dive. We should have more than enough air now to actually reach the bottle. There you go. You got an empty bottle. Put something inside and press C to use it. What? Something's already inside. Uh, okay. We're going to have to find out what's going on with that. But let's see what this guy had to say. I think he was just the one that told us about diving underwater. Where'd he go? Hi, there he is. I'm Azora. Have you seen anything strange in the lake? The river carries many things into the this lake. Okay, well, good for that. Uh, I'm just, I don't think there's a whole lot else we can do here in the the lake now, since there's much deeper water everywhere else. So we're just going to go ahead and see what's in this bottle real fast. Let's go ahead and put that... Oh, it's a letter. Okay, cool. Fair enough. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and save real fast just to make my life a little easier. Awesome. And let's see what's in this bottle. Or this letter. Huh? It looks like there is something already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Help me. I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. Ruto. P.S. Don't tell my father. Didn't the uh, King of the Zoras mention that his daughter's name was Ruto? So, despite what the letter is telling us, it seems to be on our best interest to let Daddy know. That way we can, you know, go find the girl and save her and all that good stuff. And we're back up to full rupees. Awesome. I'm trying to get a little magic back here, but we'll see. There you go. Don't go. Okay. Now, if I don't get any, I don't get any. Let's see if I can't do a quick spin here. No. Well, I got the, I got the magic, so we're fine. We're not going to get any sticks out of that, so no point really trying. And now we can just go back to Zora's domain just by diving under this thing again. It's a nice little shortcut, so I like it. Makes my life easy. My getting around nice. There you go. So you guys didn't see that empty bottle, or the, the bottle with the, the letter in it, huh? Yeah, you haven't found Princess Ruto. Okay, apparently you guys didn't search very hard if you didn't see the bottle with a letter in it, but oh well. Also, now that we have the silver scale, or the Zora scale, or... Oh, there's the other dude. 
All of the water in Hyrule, Hyrule flows from Zora's Fountain. That water flows through Zora's River, which eventually reaches Lake Helia to the south. Oh, huh, that's cool, I guess. Anyways, let's get out of here. And now that we have the Zora's uh, scale, or the Silver scale, we can actually check something out, out here real fast. It's not a huge deal, but you know what? Let's just give it a quick shot. Yeah, right over here. If you had tried to dive down here before, you wouldn't have reached it. I think we already tried. But now that you have the Zora's scale, you dive into it. And yes, another shortcut. Just like from Goron City, there's a shortcut to... There's a shortcut from Zora's Domain to the Kukiri, the Kukiri Forest, or the Lost Woods, or whatever you want to call it. So that's a pretty cool little thing to find every once in a while. I like it. I think it's helpful, that's for sure. Unfortunately, I think we do have to play the song to get back in here. One of you guys happily... Nope. Damn. Not what I was going for. I was going to say, well, one of you guys actually bothered to stand on my stick and turn into a... Turn into a fairy, but I don't think they want to. Oh, look at all this money that we're getting that we can't spend because, well, the game gives you a ton of money, and since you can find most of the consumables for free, there's not really a whole lot of use to money. And a lot of the stuff that actually costs money to buy, or a lot of the uh, stuff that seems like it would cost a lot of money to buy, like the, like the shield or whatever, you just get it for free. So... There's actually not a whole lot to spend your money on in this game, unless you're, like, wasting it on trying to get, like, a bomb bag upgrade or something out of the minigame, which we've already got. Okay, one of you guys come stand on my stick. Here you. Come here. I'm never going to get one of you guys, am I? Eh. Oh, well. I tried. There you go. Plays out as well, but we get back into the Zora's area. We're good to go. Now, what the heck is Lord Jabu Jabu? I I don't think we've heard anything about that, have we? Or if we have, I don't remember it. Actually, we could spend our money on those magic beans. You know what? Let's actually go do that real fast. Uh, the guy's right at the end of this little area right here. So I'm just going to meet you there because we're eventually going to need those magic beans. So I'm going to meet you guys there and we're going to buy them real fast. Alright, let's go buy some of these things. <clears throat> and every time you buy one, he says something slightly different about them. Like how they're increasing in popularity or whatever. Well, they're not that popular yet. Okay. And yeah, every time you buy it, it goes up by 10 rupees per bean. So... Even with 200, we, not, we probably won't be able to get all of them. Okay, blah, blah, blah. That's great. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How about some <coughs> magic beans? They're getting to be quite the popular. Oh, yeah. They're getting so popular that one guy is buying them, and that's it. Yeah, there we go. Chomp, chomp, chomp. All right. Let's see here. They're all the rage. Uh, I guess they're all the rage with the one guy that's actually buying, I'm sure, but that's not terribly huge for one person to buy them all. We have the popular magic beans. You are good at it if you don't buy them now. 50 rupees. Just for now. Okay, yeah. This, this bastard, he has the whole supply and demand thing down pat. He knows that, he knows that I need them, so he's going to raise the price each time like the little bastard that he is. Chop, chop, chop. These are the super popular magic beans. In case you're wondering, they'll soon be sold out. Super price, 60 rupees for one piece. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, what does he say for the next one? Let's see. Chop, chop, chop. We have the super rare magic beans. This could be your last chance. Special price, 70 rupees. Uh, not good. So they go up by seven, or they go up by 10 each time, so. Let's see, the next one is 70, the next, and then 80, and then 90, and then 100 for the last one. Navi, go away. Okay, yeah. Sorry wants to know about the spirit. We've already talked to Sorry about the spiritual stone, haven't we? Eh, we're fine. Uh, let's see, so. 
70 and 80, that's 150. Plus <clears throat> 90, that's 240. And then so 340 for the remaining couple beans there. And we can't even carry that much money, so oh well. Yeah, I figured since we're going to be going into a dungeon pretty soon here, we might as well try to free up our our wallet, because there's probably going to be chests that have money in the dungeon, so why not? Anyways, I'll just go ahead and meet you guys back in Zoro's Domain, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, let's go talk to King Ruto and tell him that we know about his rebellious daughter, because, well, she told us not to, but... I kind of need to get the spiritual stone so I can save the world. It's kind of a job that I've been forced into here. So, let's get to it. Uh, do you have any, like, attendants over here or anything like that? I mean, I see you up there, but let's see. Okay, high, pri high dive practice spot. See, what do you say here besides the King Zora's throne room? Alright, so let's go ahead and Z-target him, and let's go ahead and dump out our letter here. Oh, this letter. It's from Princess Ruto. Hmm, let's see. She's the side of Lord Jabu Jabu. That's not possible. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Ruto. Well, since that stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear. Of course you'll go find Ruto. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle it was in. Take it respectfully. Please, find my dear Princess Ruto. Immediately, Zora. And now, King Zora moves out of the way so we can get behind him to... Where, where Lord Jabu Jabu is. And this fat bastard takes forever to move, like, a foot and a half to the left. Because he refuses to just stand up. Also, you remember how they were saying that all the water in Lake Helia and whatnot comes from Zora's domain? Well, all the water comes from the little pond behind where King Zora is sitting. And it all flows out through here, and then ends up, you know, going down this waterfall into the pool outside, where it goes into that little hole that goes to Lake Helia, and then it goes to all the other areas that have water and such. So, I'm not sure if you noticed, but King Zora right there was sitting right smack dab in the middle, so, yeah. All the water that comes through from that little pond back there we're going to, goes straight through Lord Jabu Jabu's balls and ass. So, and everything's got kind of a fishy taste to it. Oh well. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and see what King Zora has to say here. Oh, I guess you can't talk to him from there. Kinda conceited, but okay, I, mean, I guess he is royalty. Kinda. Please, find my dear Princess Ruto immediately, Zora. Okay. Fair enough. Actually, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste your time here. I'm just gonna tell you right now. Uh, now, now that we have another empty bottle, we want a fish. So we're gonna do that real fast. Also, before I forget, does oh, there's a stick. That's awesome. I forget if the Zora shop sells anything like potion-wise that we could possibly put to use. Something like a red potion would be helpful. I mean, we have milk, but... Oh, they do sell red potion. Okay, cool. Let's just grab one of those. Yeah, let's grab a red potion. Oh, we need... We need 17 more rupees. Okay. That's not too bad, really. Oh, I guess this will just be 6 rupees every time we go in and out. So let's just do that real fast. Uh, we could buy the fish there, but I think it's something like 200 rupees, and frankly, I'd rather not spend 200 rupees on a fish, considering the fact that you can just do this. See this fish right here? Swoop your bottle.
And there we go. You got a fish. Use it with C and something might happen. It looks so fresh and delicious. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, so you just get it right there. Uh, we're not going to need any bugs in the upcoming dungeon. Heck, we might not even need the potion, but it's better to be safe than sorry, I guess. There you go. Goodbye. Alright, and we need one more set of that blue rupee. Awesome. But yeah, they want to charge 200 rupees for that fish in a bottle right there without even giving you a bottle to put it in. And you can just get one outside right there. Actually, that's a pretty good way to make money, I'm pretty sure, because you can take stuff like the bugs in the bottle and the fish in the bottle and sell them to somebody in Castle Town in Hyrule. And they'll give you a decent amount of money for them. I mean, again, you hardly ever need money, but still. Let's see, you want to sell me your fish for 200 rupees when you can just buy it outside. Okay, so let's go with red rupees, or not red rupees, red potion. There you go. Yeah, okay, carry it in my bottles. Awesome. All right, and let's get out of here. We're down to one rupee. That's fine. I can deal with that. There you go. Back to more rupees. And you guys have some sticks, right? It is nice of them. It is nice of them to give you sticks right here in case you don't have them for lighting those torches or something like that. Uh, let's see. I want to go ahead and put... You right there, you right there. Keep the fish. Keep the fish out, because we're going to need that. I think they'll tell you when you get over there that you're going to need a fish, but I figure might as well just grab it right now without wasting too much extra time in it. It's a nice little, it's a nice little cave back here. Okay, I guess only 33% of the water goes through King Zora's ass, because he's only sitting in the middle, but still. It's the principle of the matter. Zora's domain. Okay. And... Zora's fountain. Don't disturb Lord Jabu Jabu. King Zora, the... 16th? Okay. So they haven't had they haven't had that many rulers, I guess. Perfect. I can use you guys. Well, not really, but still. They give you a lot of slingshot ammo here. Let's see, if we go around the side here, we can actually get into the lake behind Lord Jabu Jabu. I don't think there's a whole lot we can do here, because like we can't get to that little cave right there. And you can't dive very far down below, so yeah, it's uh, not terribly useful at the moment. Plus, there's nothing on the bottom of the lake anyways. I think if we come back later, there will, there will be some stuff on the bottom of the lake, but at the moment, not a whole lot. Actually, I think there might be some... Yeah, I think over here, there's a hole that we can possibly bomb open and possibly find something in there, but that, that could also be for later. I'm not entirely sure. Let's take a look at Lord Jabu Jabu. He's a giant fish, kind of like a whale almost. He doesn't seem that big, really. I mean, he's he's bigger than us for sure, but he doesn't seem as gargantuan as they were making him, making him out to be. Or... I, I guess they didn't really say he was gargantuan. He's, they just said he was like their god or whatever. Or their guardian deity or whatever. Okay, so not a whole lot going on here. Fair enough. Uh, let's see if we can't... Do anything over here. We have bombs, right? Yeah, let's, let's put those to use. Again, you might have to come back here later. I think you actually do because you can only break one of these rocks here. There you go. I guess you don't really need to break the rock, so if you can just get through here. Awesome. Ooh, great fairy fountain. That sounds awesome. I kind of forgot this was here, but I think I know what this gives us, and it'll actually be... Well, I don't use it too often, but a lot of people find it to be reasonably useful.
I always think that the color of the flames will indicate the color of their hair, and it doesn't. <laughs> Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. Cool. There's a couple Great Fairies of Magic, I think. Unless she just has, like, multiple locations of... Like, worship or whatever, and we're just... Meeting her at each one. And we get Ferora's Wind. This is warp magic you can use with C. Warp when you are in danger. So, you will teleport to the warp point. When you first use the magic, you will create a warp point. When you use the magic again, you can either dispel the warp point you created last time or warp to that point. <laughs> Remember, you can use Ferora's Wind only in dungeons that have a dungeon map hidden inside, okay? See, I don't think you can use it outside. When battle has made you wary, blah, 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 that stuff. Yeah, it's really good for getting back to, like, the beginning of a dungeon or something like that, or getting back to a certain room in a dungeon. I don't, I don't actually know if you can use it outside on the world map. We can actually try that real fast. I mean, it, it says you can only use it in dungeons with like a world map, but I'm assuming, but I'm wondering if that means you can't use it in like little mini dungeons or whatever. Yeah, see, it's block is it's grayed out, so we can't actually use it here. So it really is only a dungeon item. But cool, we got a nice little warp for when we go into the dungeon here. And you may be wondering what dungeon. Well. We'll find out in about a minute here, because that's how long it's going to take to swim over here. If you don't got a fish, go get one. Because you kind of need one of those to continue what we're doing here. So you're Lord Jabu Jabu, and they said Rito, uh, Ruto, or, yeah, Ruto, was inside of you. It's kind of weird, in my opinion. It's, it's, it's probably not that big of a deal, but I think it's weird how... Ruto is the Zora princess, the fish people, and then in Wind Waker, the bird people are called the Rito. There's only one letter difference, but then again, I've heard that the Rito supposedly evolved from the from the Zoras, or at least it's like a branching evolution of the Zoras. They went from fish people to bird people, or something like that. I could be mistaken, but that's what I seem to recall hearing, but again... I'm probably wrong. Anyways, we got our fishy here, and we love cannibalism, so let's give this giant fish this little fish, because why not? Inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. Welcome to the third dungeon. Yeah. Lord Jabu Jabu's got some suction. He could suck a golf ball through a garden hose. Shit. Uh, if you want to leave, I think you just have to like go towards the front of his mouth and he'll let you out. Yeah, he'll, he'll just let you out. And then when you turn back around, yeah, he just opens back up. So He keeps his mouth closed while you're inside to you know, not actually have to worry about getting bugs in there or something, but... Yeah, he is a bit, uh, strange. You know, actually, no, hang on. I want to lock onto you. There you go. Not you, uh, you. There you go, shoot me. Goodbye, and... Goodbye. And as for you, you are a little, weird little bubble thing. Shabam! If you try to cut it, it will bounce off your blade. So yeah, we can't really do a whole lot, uh, with our sword. However... We're getting lots of slingshot ammo, so let's go ahead and... Well, if we can actually target him, that'd be great. Come on, I can hit this damn thing eventually. I am really bad at aiming. Are you going to hit this damn thing or what? Come on. Oh, I thought... Wait, oh, I thought you... I thought you popped these with the... I was hitting them. 
But apparently you can't pop them with... Okay. I remember being able to pop those with your slingshot, but apparently I was vastly mistaken. But yeah, that little tonsil-looking thing right there, that's going to be a switch that shows up in this dungeon. And you just, well, hit it with your, you hit it with your slingshot, unlike those bubbles that apparently you do not. So, I learned something, or I remembered something new today, or I remember something old, or something like that. Hello. Gary, if you touch it, you'll be electrocuted. Oh yeah, another enemy you want to stay at range, so let's go ahead and, you know, try to see if the slingshot just doesn't work here again. Okay, our slingshot is very ineffective against stuff in here. Here, go for a uh, stun. Perfect. Okay, there we go. So we actually can hit that guy with our, with our nuts. Awesome. And I think these have items in them, but we can also use them for other stuff. So don't just destroy them right away. Uh, let's jump on you and try not to jump too far down. Let's see, what is down here? Uh, well, it, it will let us go back up if we stand on it long enough. So I want to see if it'll go any higher or if it, it will just stay in the... If it'll just stay on this level right here. Okay, it will let us go over there, but... Well, actually, you know what? Let's go down here real fast, see what's down here. There is... What's this over here? I'm not sure. Oh, there's a Deku Scrub! How you doing, little buddy? Are you gonna sell me stuff? Probably. But I only have nine rupees, so whatever you're trying to sell me better not be terribly expensive. I surrender. In return, I'll sell you Deku Nuts. Five pieces, 20 rupees. Uh, no, I'm good. Thanks. Yikes! I'm going home. Okay, bye. Okay, so I guess if you need Deku Nuts to deal with the bubbles or the the uh, jellyfish, you can do that. But it's not terribly necessary at the moment. Anyways, uh, I'm going to ignore that Octorok down in the water and see what's over here. Uh, what part of I was going to ignore you did not understand there, dude. I was trying to be friendly-like. At the very least you could do is drop a heart, you little bastard. Oh, well. Yeah, be careful about the spikes on the bottom of that thing. It's helpful for, you know, getting around, but the spikes are not your friend. Oh, we are over here. That thing, I think that tonsil just lets us back through the door. Oh, cool. We destroyed two for one. We got, we got plenty of hearts out of that, too. Got it. And... Ooh, there is a gold spatula. How you doing there, little buddy? Get him. Oh, you're in the water there. Let's see, what are you? You are... Stinger, destroy it before it flies into you. Okay. I don't think we can hit it when it's underwater. We have to wait for it to actually get out of the water. So let's go ahead and... Can I jump up here? No, I cannot. Ah, you're trying to attack me and I'd rather you not. Oh, look, something we actually hit... Something we can actually hit with our slingshot. Awesome. I love it. Got him. And... You guys aren't dropping anything, are you? No? Well, let's press this switch, see what it does. It raises the water so we're not stuck in here permanently, and there's a red rupee. I'm going to grab that because it's there, and I am out of money temporarily. Get down there. There you go. Yeah, the water does not stay up very long in here, so you got to be a little, a little faster than what I'm doing, since I'm going kind of slow, but oh well. Ooh, look, pots. With all sorts of useful stuff in there, like a fairy, which I did not realize was in there. If I had realized it was in there, I'd... Probably would have tried to catch it. And I did not make my way over there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's get... Over this way. There you go. Just enough room to get over here. Awesome. I'm going to ignore the bubbles because I don't think destroying them actually gets us anything useful. So we're just going to ignore it for the most part. And we are... Over here. Okay, that's not what I was trying to go for, but okay, I'll take it. It's my own fault. 
That is a weird green, like vein or something like that. I'm not actually, I'm not actually sure what that is. I mean, I don't think I have one of those in my body. Or if I do, I don't know about it. That's for sure. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore you guys since you guys are being kind of irritating. There you go. There you go. You wanna die there, dude? No. Come here. There you go. And you. There you go. Okay, let's just, uh. Yeah, kill the guy. There you go. I guess you can kill him without stunning him, but either way, you might take damage if you're not fast. I'm trying to figure out if. Are you guys both gold sculptures? That is really weird that they have two gold sculptures in the same room like that. That's really weird, actually. Oh well. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It makes life easy. Hey, there is stuff here that I don't think we can do a whole lot with, so we're gonna try to kill you. You know what? Here, take this. There you go. Take a little bit of damage. And with this thing right here, I don't think we can lock onto it, but if you hit it with your sword, I think. Or anything, really, I think. Yeah, nothing happens. We have to come back with... Well, let's just save the dungeon item, because that's what we gotta come back with. Yeah, we gotta come back with a dungeon item, and then we can use that to get past that. So, oh well, let's get out of here, and let's climb the wall here. We can't get the gold skull tools over there yet. Uh, once we do get the dungeon item from this dungeon, we will be able to go around and get a few more gold skull tools and heart containers, or heart pieces, from previous areas, since it'll... It'll enhance our ability to get stuff, pretty much. It'll make our it'll make our gathering very much more improved. You, who are you? I am Ruto, Princess of the Zoras. What? Are you saying my father asked you to come here to save me? I'd never ask anyone to do such a thing. Letter in a bottle. I have no idea what you're talking about. My father is worried about me. I don't care. Anyway, I can't go home right now, and you, get out of here, understand? Oh no! And she falls down a hole. But you know what? She doesn't want to deal with us, so I'm not going to deal with her. Instead, we're going to do other stuff next episode. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.